Hey everybody, Fixer here, and I have a, The Novelist for you, a brand new series. This is a, an indie game made by uh, Orthogonal Games. You can pick it up for $15 on Steam or Humble Bundle. Links will be in the description. It's a game about life, family, and the choices we make. It asks one central question, can you achieve your dreams without pushing away the people you love? So, what I gather from this game is you play... Uh, Dan Kaplan, who is a novelist, he takes his family away to their summer home, I suppose, or a rental, uh, because he has writer's block and he needs to write. And you play, or I play, as uh, an entity, or perhaps a spirit, or a ghost, I'm not sure, um, in the house, and I follow these people around and I learn their wants and desires and I try to help them achieve those things. Uh, it seems like um, The Shining with a lot less murder is what I gather from it. So I'm going to hop right on in there with a new game. Uh, I, I already jumped in the game to make sure I can uh, run it at a high frame rate and just get a general idea of what's going on. Now, there's two different ways you can play. There's a stealth way and a story way. And from what I have gathered so far, the stealth seems like a completely... I don't want to say useless game mechanic, um, but you run the risk of losing out on the story when you play stealth. If you get spotted by these people, you actually lose opportunities for story. And since I'm playing this for the story and not the stealth, I'm just going to bypass the stealth altogether. And the fact that they even offer it a, a, a story mode instead of a stealth mode kind of in my opinion, makes it feel like they're admitting that it's kind of pointless. So, anyways, um, I'm going to play through the tutorial. The, tor the tutorial is short, but it's going to give you an idea of, of what goes on. So, the novelist. So, we follow Dan Kaplan, his wife, and, and I believe they have one little boy. This is it. Yeah. Wow, look at this place. Still can't believe the deal we got. See, I don't know if they bought if they bought this place or if they're renting it. Where's my room? Right up there, buddy. Okay. Generally, you can travel by light or you can walk around. Right now I have emerged from the lights and I am I am walking around. Let's get a let's get a good look outside here. Got a nice oceanfront view. But it wants me to look at the letter on the dining room table as they're farting around upstairs. Mr. Kaplan, welcome to your home for the summer. We're excited to have you. All right, so it sounds like a rental. This is one of our most popular properties, and I'm sure you and your family will have a memorable visit. We have you booked through August 31st. Your security deposit has cleared and our cleaning service refreshed everything up on Saturday. You can buy groceries at McClendon's in town. And if you'd like to eat dinner out, there are quite a few restaurants on Meridian Avenue just off Fairview. If you have any questions or if you run into any trouble at all, please don't hesitate to call Pete Fuller, Hanager Rentals, Sydney Bluffs, Oregon. A-E-E -E space, okay. Look at a light fixture and press space to possess it. Bam! You can possess any light fixture in a house by looking at it and pressing space. You can even jump from one light fixture to another so you can move quickly. Use possession to reach the upstairs office. And here I be. Six days later. We'll be back in a little bit. You do that. Okay. A little bit of private time. Let's load up some porn on the computer. I wonder if they have internet out here. Your goal in each chapter is to figure out the dilemma facing Dan and decide how he should resolve the situation. Each member of the family desires a different outcome and it's up to you to decide which path to take. If you learn the desires of more than one character, you can unco uncover compromises that will help the family. Writer's Block. After a week at the house, 
and it fades out. The family has run into a vicious murderer and they died and the story is over. All right, return to the office. I just want to get a good look around here. Oh, can I zoom in on these? No. Linkwood wine and Oz Ogburn whiskey. So somebody likes their alcohol. We can speed this up by doing this. Here we go. Dan's journal, journal on the desk. Let's read it. Writer's block. I can't believe I just wrote that. Writer's block. There, again. Those two words are apparently the only damn thing I can write. I don't think it's been this bad since high school. Mr. Holder's class, an essay about Faulkner. Dan Kaplan, little-known author of Tramer's Way and Windsong, has run out of steam. Closed my eyes last night and saw a literary register article about myself. That was the first line. Paul wants three chapters next week, and so far I've got 2,000 words so sloppy I can barely read them. I cannot blow my schedule. Paul said Grovefield's been very clear about what comes next if I keep slipping deadlines. Why did this happen as soon as we got here? This was supposed to simplify things, but so far it's been nothing but staring at a blank page. <sighs> Maybe a walk will help. Or a long drive. Or a drink. Oh boy. So that's his alcohol. Or at least... Each character has a number of writings or drawings to discover. You found one of Dan's. Now that you know what's troubling him, you should search the house for him to discover more about his dilemma. Well, look at He's right there. Look for Dan. When you look at a character, you can press space to see what they're thinking about. If this doesn't work... Okay. The cloud around Dan's head indicates that he's remembering specific moments from the past. You have the ability to explore his memories to learn more about the current chapter. Approach Dan from behind and press space to enter his memory. Okay. Enter his memory. Now that you've entered Dan's memory, you can explore it freely. Follow the sounds that locate different moments that are on his mind. When you find a specific moment, press space to uncover more about what's troubling Dan in this chapter. And then we can exit when we want. Is that noise in here? Or it's right here. Do you think coming here will help? Do you think coming here will help? All right. It has to. Did the sound go away or did it just move? It moved. Oh, there he is. Tommy rode into town with me today. He saw some kids his age playing on the swings at the park, and I could tell he wanted to go play with them. It got me thinking, did we swing the pendulum too far just to get him away from those bullies? Kids can bounce back quick sometimes. What if this is the worst thing we could have done? Then he asked how Daddy's book was going, and without even thinking, I said, great, my man. Felt awful right away. It's a white lie, sure, but why not be honest? When he was younger, he was just a bundle of physical needs, but now he's like a mental, emotional sponge. He's around Linda and me all the time, and I can see him changing every day in a thousand small ways. That scares the hell out of me. What am I teaching him with a white lie? All right, so it makes me wonder, did we move here? You have found all the moments in this character's memory. You can come back and re-examine them at any time, or you can exit and explore other characters' memories. All right, so let's exit the memory. So it makes me wonder, did we come here? Dan, we're back. Hey, Mom. Something down there. Hey, now that Linda and Tommy are home, you should look for their clues. Discover what's on their minds and explore their memories. If you learn what all the characters want, you can earn additional opportunities to influence their story. Can't beat me. So I wonder if they came here for Tommy and not necessarily the book. Barb, how are things? Is school still taking up all of your time, or is anything new going on? We've been up here for a week or so, and I can already tell it's going to be great for painting. There are hardly any distractions, and this house has a room they called the conservatory in the brochure, which really just means it has a lot of windows. Whatever they call it, it's a great space for working. The second floor blocks most of the northern light, but I'll manage. 
I took Tommy down to the beach today and you should have seen how excited he was. I wish I'd brought my camera. He kept looking back up at the house like he couldn't believe it was so small from down there. He seems to have taken to this place really well so far, which is such a load off our minds. We didn't know what to expect, but so far, so good. Anyway, let me know how things are going. Yours, Linda. Okay. You can always press tab to see your progress and find out what you need to do to move forward. You can press escape to view the help screen. Search the house for more clues. Search the house and her memories for more clues. Search the house and his memories for more clues. Thank you, sir. Can I open stuff? Sup, bro? Alright, so we got it. What was that? Uh. Mr. and Mrs. Kaplan, I hope this reaches you before you leave for the summer. I know we went over this in my office, but I think Tommy is a wonderful child and I feel better putting my recommendation in writing. Children develop at different speeds, and Tommy shows no signs of a serious learning disorder. So the most important thing is to be patient and supportive. Make sure he does his reading exercises each day in a calm, loving environment. Make sure not to show disappointment when he struggles, which he will at first. Show encouragement when he succeeds, as self-confidence is critical at his age. At this age. If he fails to make progress with the exercises I've included, you may want to take him to a local pediatrician for further recommendations. I hope this is of some help. I look forward to seeing Tommy this September. Can I do something with that? Hi, Mom. I guess not. I guess I was just seeing things. Alright, let's go... Let's go, um... Possess the family. This feels... This feels voyeuristic. Kind of creepy in a way. Alright, this is a pretty boring room. You could have spruced up the boys' room a little bit. But then again, it's a rental, I guess, right? So, maybe he shouldn't be putting shit on the window like this, causing Mommy and Daddy perhaps, uh, losing their... their, um... payment. Oh, I can read this. Alright, so... For what I get out of this is... The boy, he doesn't look terribly happy, right? Usually when kids make drawings like this. How old is this kid? He seems a little old for drawings like this. I don't know. So this tells me that he recognizes that Daddy's not doing well. Knows about his writer's block or something, I suppose. Race and Roger. I, I don't know. He seems a little old to be doing drawings like that. Maybe... Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Is after all, I I don't have a kid, so I I don't know. All right, there's little little man here. Let's explore his thoughts. I'm not sure I want to do this. All right, so somebody's a painter. I think that's mommy. And um, there we are. Can I? Are there any other kids? We'll have to find out. Are there any other kids? Can I can I go out the door? I don't think you can go through doors in this game. Oh! Oh, I exited his memory. I didn't want to do that. Alright. So, let's go back upstairs. I can travel quicker like that. Right? There we are. Yeah, see, look at Mr. Frowny Face on the right there. Yeah, he knows what's up. You discovered enough about this character to find out how they want to resolve this chapter. So, he wants, um, I don't know if this means he feels ignored by Dad. See, look at, he's smiling here when Dad's with him. So he's not happy because his dad is, is working on the novel. So... He just wants more attention from his dad. Okay. Hello, Mom. And she wants more attention, too, I'm going to assume. I think we've done a good job of putting on happy faces for Tom. Yeah. If he knows there's something wrong, he's not showing it. We told him this is just a fun family Showing it? You're just not looking. He seems to like it here so far. But this might be it for Dan and me. 
Neither one of us has said the word yet, but I know it's right there under the surface. We've been dancing around it. I can't even bring myself to write the word here. Writing it would be almost as bad as saying it, because once it's there, it becomes real. Is it Nicholas Cage? A thing we have to deal with. I'm not ready for it's that Nicolas yet. Nicholas Cage. We agreed to make this a fresh start. I meant it. I think he did too. Now we just have to treat each day like a new beginning. All right. So they didn't come here just for the writer's block or just for Tommy to get away from the bullies. This is like a, a reset, like she said, a first start. I promise. Me too. I promise. Me too. Me too. Me too. Probably I promise to, to make an effort to get things back going again. That's what I get out of that. Okay. Anything else? I don't hear any more sounds. This is the bedroom. I don't hear anything. Okay. Exit the memory. All right. So what now? I've... If this doesn't work, he's still thinking about that. Hmm. I need a good screenshot, don't I? That's pretty good. All those damn... Words on the screen. I don't want to. Will that go away? Press escape and select options to adjust your settings. I've I've done that already. Okay, that's a little bit better. Not too shabby. Paul, good to hear from you. Listen, things are taking a little longer than expected. Mm -hmm. I feel good about this one, but I haven't quite brought some of the threads together. It's just an execution hiccup, not a lack of ideas. This is the most complicated book I've ever tried to write, and let's just say I have a newfound respect for guys like Dickens and Joyce who can juggle ten threads at once without getting lost. I'm figuring some of this stuff out the hard way, I guess you could say. Anyway, the outline I sent you is still good. Those are still the beats. Those are still the themes I plan to explore. I'll keep you posted, Dan. Sounds like a load of shit, Dan. Oops, I don't want to jump in his memory. Yeah. I just want to read his thoughts. So what am I supposed to do? Dan, read his thoughts for the fi final clue. Alright, so... Do I come back here? Here goes my AC. I don't hear anything. I, I'm pretty sure I've already... Can I go outside? I thought I could. Let's get out of there. Wow, did he get up there? Uh... Oh, there he is. I didn't mean to do that. I just want to read his thoughts. Tommy rode into town with me today. Oh. He saw... Already did that. So, I'm not sure what I need to do. It feels like I've... I've accomplished everything that I... I feel like I've... I've accomplished everything. We have found everything in Linda's memory. Where... Where's Dan? You're back here already. Dan, you're quick. You have found everything in Dan's memory. You may exit or investigate clues you've already discovered. Alright, where's the brat? Alright, so it says I found everything in their memories. But I come here, read his thoughts for the final clue. Blast off! You're killing me, bro. Oh, so 
I guess, um... I guess if you get too close, you go in the memory, but if you stay far enough back, you can read thoughts. To choose this character's outcome, find the object in blue text and select it. You can continue exploring the house if you'd like to discover what other characters want to do. Characters' desired objects can be viewed by pressing tab. Where's my notebook? I know I had something good. Okay. So, we got a little bit of progress. Can we do that with her as well? Yeah, see? When you get too close... It jumps into the memory. Search the house for more clues for Linda. Alright, maybe we should go in her room? Let's get this kid first. Me and Daddy can play Race and Roger. You're a little too old for that, Tommy. So we gotta find something else of Mom's. Probably like her vibrator or something. See? Did that not just... There we go. Selecting the notebook will choose Dan's resolution for this chapter. Linda and Tommy will be disappointed. However, if you discover Linda or Tommy's desired outcome, you'll be able to find a compromise with one of them in the next chapter. Alright, so I don't want to choose his just yet. I, I'm i all about compromise, so let's, let's find that compromise. Search the house for more clues for Linda. Alright. That's what I'm doing. What's over here? The bathroom. I searched everything up here. So what am I missing down here? Is that her painting, perhaps? Did you hear that? It's such a crazy thought, the three of us all alone in this house all summer. I never thought we could afford a place like this, but the price surprised us both when we saw it. I wonder if there's something wrong with it. Maybe it has a raccoon problem or a toilet that backs up. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Yep. Oh, and I'm painting again. I got set up today. I felt a buzz right away. So much time to work. I haven't had a space like this in forever, probably since I left the studio. I went straight into a new piece today, got lost, looked up to see it was two hours later. I think this new one has promise, though I still have some rust to shake off. Speaking of which, I'm going to go check on Dan and see if his new office is doing anything for him. He's pretty frustrated, but he has to figure something out soon, or this place won't be any different than home. Alright, so does that help me with hers? It does not. Damn it, Linda, what do you want? I need to know. Hi, Mom. All right, they're all chilling in here, and I still don't know. Read her thoughts. We could have a bottle of wine and hang out like we used to. So she wants to get drunk. So I, I'm, I'm starting to think they both have an alcohol problem. Selecting the wine will choose Linda's resolution for the chapter. Dan and Tommy will be disappointed. However, if you discover Dan or Tommy's desired outcome, you'll be able to find a compromise with one of them in the next chapter. So, I gotta make a choice now. Either get drunk with my wife. I, I mean, after all, I, I believe this is from Dan's perspective, right? It is called The Novelist. It feels like it's from his perspective. So, get drunk with my wife, work with a book, or play with my, my child. And so, hard decision to make. And what I'm going to do... Focus and just start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the book and then we'll um, I want to select this I think I just did so and then we'll um, hopefully work on the family the next chapter is this the next chapter? The Kaplan's are asleep explore the house for clues about about its past, then whisper your decision to Dan. Okay. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. By learning the desires of more than one character, you've earned the ability to find a compromise with one family member you didn't choose in the previous chapter. Alright, so a compromise can be had. And that's what I want. 
From the desk of Harold Baxter, January 15th, 1948. Mr. Lowry finally gave in and agreed to let me inspect the house. I believe he simply grew tired of hearing me ask, although I think deep down he knows I'm correct. A property like this simply doesn't change hands every year or two without a reason. I noticed a pattern when I was cleaning out the old files, uh, cleaning out old files, and this house kept coming up. It's changed owner seven times in the last 13 years. I began digging, and not a single one of the sales was financially motivated. People just seemed to keep deciding that they'd rather live somewhere else, which doesn't add up in my mind. The view was striking. The isolation and privacy alone make it a great property. The remoteness can't be an issue. Certainly no one who can afford this kind of home needs to work for money. It's a mystery, but that's why I'm here. They got scared away by ghosts, that's what. Damn it. Alright, so... Other kids here. So where's this compromise? Hope Tommy likes it here. Maybe tomorrow we can. Alright, so the husband wants it as well. From the desk's desk of Harold Baxter, January 16th. Standing in the kitchen, drinking coffee, and admiring the view, I simply don't understand it. Who wouldn't want to see this every morning? That appears to be the great question of 451 Timberline Road. I, sleep very, I slept very well last night. It's a good thing the previous owners left the house furnished. It was just about as quiet as anywhere I've ever been. The only sounds today are the ocean and a few birds. After I finish breakfast, I plan to begin my inspection. Later. I was inspecting the upstairs walkway to make sure the railing was sturdy when I saw something da odd downstairs. I'm not certain I can describe what it was, and I've already talked myself halfway out of thinking it was anything at all. It was probably just a trick of the light coming through those big windows. Or it was me spying on your ass. Work on my new piece. Got to break through. Alright. You could have a bottle of wine and hang out like you used to. Me and Daddy can play Raisin Roger. I don't... I feel like I didn't find the compromise. I don't know what to do. Hope we can settle in. Could he tell? Probably the publisher, right? Whisper. Why you should you should tell? Did I make a choice? It came to Dan in a flash. He'd written down an idea in an old notebook before coming to the house. It had somehow fallen beside the desk in the bedroom. And though he had no clue what gave him the idea to check there, he found it just the same. Instead of relaxing with Linda or playing with Tommy, he sat down in his typewriter and wrote for hours. It gave him hope that the change in the scenery was working. Wow, that was quick. I'm glad I read that fast. Dan's mind was elsewhere when Tommy tried to get his dad to play Race and Roger with him. Linda found Tommy trying to play the game by himself at the dinner. She sat down and played a few games with him to cheer him up, but she, she could tell he had really wanted to play with Dan. Right, right. Linda was upset that Dan couldn't take even a single night off so they could catch up on things and spend time together. She spent the evening reading alone on the couch and drinking the bottle of wine herself. And she spent the next morning trying to deal with the hangover. I feel like I didn't I didn't know the compromise. Did I screw up? I feel like I did. Full house. A friend of Dan's was coming to visits. Alright, so that sounds like chapter two to me. Thanks for watching, guys. That's the end of chapter one. I guess we'll call the next one Full House. Makes sense, right? So, I hope you liked it. Information's down in the description below. All that jazz. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.